Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to an announcement video for Total War Attila. So this week we've had three new factions that have been uploaded since I last made a video and rather than upload separate videos I thought it would be best just to combine them into one video. So this video will be a little bit longer than the average kind of two to three minutes, probably be about five or six minutes, maybe seven or eight and I can go over the three new factions and what I think. So the first up is the Ostrogoths which start off uh, sort of modern, well not modern day, but um, around the Thrace, Thracian reg region north of Greece. This is the faction logo, if I open it up, that's what it looks like. Kind of sort of uh, a dull kind of grey, kind of blue with gold on it. If we go back then, this is the wallpaper that has been released. Lots of uh, pikemen by here, some fire in the building, some smoke. And a little bit of uh, information here, originally known as the Gruthungi, they are a confederation of distinct people originally from the Baltic coast who settled close to the Black Sea. Unfortunately, this means they were the first of the Germanic peoples to face the wave of the Han and Alani invasions that have shattered the known world. So they are a high-risk faction. They are you know, kind of a threat to the, or well, under threat from the Huns, so Attila would be going for them quite early on when Attila and the Huns emerge in the campaign because they are it looks like they will be an emerging faction um, Huns subdue them memory of their former supremacy preserves Ostrogothic hope a strong leader could rescue them from their plight and restore them the glory so by the looks of things just going from this little paragraph it looks like the Ostrogoths are a fairly weak faction from in my opinion and if you're looking to play a very challenging campaign on the hardest difficulty then they are probably the faction to to pick by the looks of things. Look in, I mean, we don't know the, the units that they have yet, you know, where they have lots of cavalry, lots of uh, infantry, bow units, etc. But we do know that they have pikemen, so it looks like they, they're they going to be quite similar to the kind of Macedonians and the, the Greeks from a, f a few hundred years or so beforehand. So, yeah, they, they're they going to be, if you're, if, you're, if you're interested in kind of Greek Thracian kind of factions, they will be the faction to pick in this campaign. Um, do I want to play them? I probably will play a campaign as them in my own time. I doubt I'll I'll do one for you two. But, um, I have other plans. Uh, I mentioned in the previous episode that the Saxons will be my single player one. But I probably will do a, a faction vote as well for you guys to vote on. So they'll be in there definitely. Um, just uh, just look and see if there's anything else I can mention. They have a long relationship with Roman culture, civic and military matters. Uh, lend them much credence to the point where they face little resistance from local population when occupying Roman territory. So, for example, if playing as them, you went west and faced the Western Roman Empire, you wouldn't have too much difficulty settling your population. The public order wouldn't be too unstable. And the same if you go east and attack Constantinople and the the Eastern Roman Empire. So, yeah, there's, there's positives and negatives for the Ostrogoths. I think we've probably talked about them enough so we're going to move on to the next faction now which I have in the new tab here the Franks so they are of course in northern Europe modern day uh, Holland and it says here a little title for them as the world stands on the edge of chaos the Franks hover between two roles as destroyers or inheritors of the Roman legacy they are on the cusp of realizing their full potential so by the looks of things you have two choices you either can wreak havoc upon your enemies, perhaps take on the north, take on the Saxons and try and consolidate northern Europe, sort of modern day Holland, Germany, Denmark and Sweden, or you can be inheritors, try to inherit what the Roman legacy leaves behind. So the West Roman Empire is crumbling, can you take the former provinces of the West Roman Empire for your own glory? So it looks like uh, you, you can probably role play a little bit with the Franks uh, what else did I say? This is the this is the first force. I look at the uh, icon, the faction logo. So again, looks like it looks like to me it's like some sort of three-headed snake. I think in gold, of course. A lot of the logos are quite similar, which I'm a little bit disappointed with. Um, like I don't look at that and think, oh, it's the Franks. It just looks like another kind of generic logo. They could try to be, but I suppose it's difficult because they, you know, it's not like the Romans where you immediately you think of a golden eagle, you know. So. I guess is for and against, but you probably will grow used to them eventually, just like any other game. Get used to them, and you know instantly who it is. Uh, it says here they are situated on the coastline of northern Germania. The Franks have choices to make: where they strike across the seas to seize the lands of Britain, or forge south 
south perhaps to exploit the weakness of the West Roman Empire. So like I just mentioned, it's basically saying that there you can go north or go south or of course go across the sea and take Britain for yourself. Um, I'm going to be looking to do that in my Saxon campaign, but again, the Franks will be in the faction vote. Uh, eventually when I do complete all these, um, when all the factions are released and we know a bit more about the game, I will then release a faction vote video. Uh, probably about a month or so before the game is released, once we have a proper release date, and the Franks will be in there as a faction vote. So we're going to move on to the final faction now, and this is the faction that we all knew about from, from day one pretty much, the Western Roman Empire. The capital is Mediolanum, of course it's not Rome by this point, the capital had moved. Around about this period it did move a few times, it went to, um, I think it was, was it Latium or Latium? I'm not 100% sure, I know it went north in, in northern Italy. They changed it again, um, so it, it moved about a few times within the space of like 50 to 100 years. At this point in time, it's Mediolanum. As you can see, they hold most of North Africa, Iberia, Gaul, most of Britain up until sort of northern England, southern Scotland, uh, all of Italy, of course, Sardinia, and then a little bit into Illyria. But they have lost, of course, a lot of their empire to the east, so it's now split in two, western and eastern. And as you've probably seen if you've watched the Twitch streams and some of the information about the game that's been released, the Western Roman Empire are in despair. They are stretched very thin. I think they have one army in the north, one in the south, one in the east, and one in the west. I think they start off with four. So you're pretty much on your own. So, for example, if you've got multiple uprisings in Iberia and you've only got one army there and you can't recruit any more, you're going to be struggling. So you're going to have to win as many battles as you can. The same in the north if you're fighting Saxon invaders and and the local Celtic tribes, you're going to have a tough time trying to defend your lands. So it's an interesting faction to play as if you want a high risk, high reward kind of challenge. Defend your whole empire or start a new one. Maybe perhaps leave Iberia, perhaps leave North Africa and instead go east and try and take on your fellow Romans, the Eastern Roman Empire, or go north and try and take the Germania lands. So you know, you've got a choice to basically defend what you have or leave it and hold back position or of course go forward and try and take more land for yourself. So this is the faction logo, no real surprise, red background, golden eagle, pretty much the standard Roman uh, faction logo. Um, I like the fact they've changed it a little bit from Rome 2, so it's not like a copy and paste job, it, they've actually redone it, which you kind of expect with the new game. And of course this is the the wallpaper that's been released with it as well, they've got the Roman eagle on top of the standard there, the Christian logo, some Romans. The Romans of course they, they look different now, they're not like proper legionaries which we've seen in Rome too, they have different shield designs, look look lighter armoured but they have chainmail now, so lots of sh lots has changed. And it says here, its emperor dances to the tune of half Vandal general, its powerless senators idle on vast, poorly managed estates, since the empire's division the floors beset in, the west have rapidly become apparent. So basically, the west is in trouble, you're going to struggle in this campaign. Uh, the Huns are looking towards your your borders so you're gonna have trouble later in the campaign with the Huns when they invade as well so yeah it's a high risk high reward kind of faction and definitely something which I'm considering playing myself I can't wait to play Attila Total War I think the West Norman Empire is probably probably my second favorite faction that's been released so far um, at the whole kind of apocalyptic kind of feel what we've seen in the twitch streams and what's been released with the the siege of Londinium so far with the Western Roman Empire, it you know it has made me a little bit excited. I am a bit apprehensive, of course. Um, you know, people who are subscribed to my channel would have seen a video that went up recently, saying why I hate DLC, and it's something which you know I'm not going to go into too much because it'll bore you too much. But Rome Two didn't have the best release. I'm kind of you know I'm in mix I'm in mixed feelings with Rome Two, and the same thing kind of applies with Attila. I'm not going to be jumping into it straight away and thinking, oh you know, excellent game. This is great. This is great. I'm going to be a bit more picky and a bit more, you know, I'm going to think about it a bit more before I actually jump in. But I think the West Roman Empire, you know, is a great faction to play as. And I think I may, you know, I'll, they'll go in the faction vote as well when the when the game is released. And I think that pretty much sums this video up. So we have the Ostrogoths, we have the Franks, and we have the Western Roman Empire. Let me know in the comments below what you think about these three factions. And let me know which faction you're looking to play or looking forward to play the most when Attila Total War comes out. I have been Dragonheart, thank you for watching, until next time, goodbye.